tonight, Southeast Texas leaders are planning their next steps now that voters have spoken. So let's take a quick recap of what made the cut at the polls. Voters in the Lumberton Municipal Utility District, the MUD, gave the OK for a new wastewater facility, while Port Neches and Groves voters gave their firefighters the go ahead to unionize. Newton County voters voted down a proposed jail reno. And Hampshire Finette barely squeezed out the approval of that $1.4 million concession stamp. And when we say it barely passed, that is not an exaggeration. The bond measure passed by five votes. So what now? Well, Superintendent Dwayne Augustine says before any construction begins, the district needs to work with an architect, someone who will map out the details of the project. That person will provide a detailed layout of the new pavilion. The, the next step is really to develop um, um, the details of the building itself. And so those are architectural type uh, processes. And so after those processes are, are complete, that's when the project will go out for bids. And so they expect to have it complete by December of next year. So that means one more football season until the community can use that new concession stamp.